Hey there, beloved Ascension Pioneers. This is the second part of the video about my beloved crystal called Oralai 23, but um, actually has its own name. Didn't tell me yet, but um, the thing is that today is the day of the equinox. I'm, I'm reporting and <laughs> posting this tomorrow only because the equinox has to be my own special day. And um, like I've you know, said in the previous video, this crystal was in the mountains yesterday. He was charging up and today he was being bathed in this sacred water behind me in the mountain water. And then I created this crystal grid, like I said. And um, <laughs> later I was doing some work calls. I got a special ascension message for all of us. We'll be posted again today, tomorrow, whatever and divine timing and it was a very beautiful message everything was aligned with the equinox energies and the thing is that I also was doing some other readings and again it was about being the, the guardian it was about guardianship and it's what I actually entered into with this crystal so now I'm actually a guardian of this crystal I mean I'm a guardian of all my crystals I don't have so many of them but um this one like is a special crystal like I said it's a master crystal and yesterday it was being programmed for awareness but the but the grid that I placed it into is kind of like the activation for our harmony center of the polarized opposites so the twin soul within us this is the aspect that also astrologically is being seated right now at this planet right as we speak <laughs> it is very strange that um, not strange <laughs> it's very potent you know everything is coming together perfectly you know it's kind of like this divine master plan unfolding which is kind of like things always take place oh i also have one here this is what i also received like this beautiful pendant i have so many now <laughs> so <clears throat> i created this grid which actually the whole day was facing towards the sun the sun was there in that direction towards the mountain this is the northern wall of these mountains you know so this is the east, you have the west behind me, the north, and you know, this is how it is. So the thing is that um, it was facing towards the sun the whole day. And there's um, <clears throat> little tiny uh, pointers, crystals supporting it, the grid. He's in the middle, so he's just reverberating energy out after being bathed in the sacred waters. <laughs> was purified and we got actually the codes also in the water and they're dispersing and they're just putting it all out there you know through the land um, like veins you know like you have veins in the heart like pulsating out the energy if you do like this it's very intense so the thing is that I'm its keeper but everybody can benefit from this energy this is what these uh, key keeper crystals are all about um, this is also about twin soul energy being manifested at this time in this planet because I also have a very special twin soul crystal you can't see it now it's it's two beings in one like coming from the same stem uh, it was at the right at the front of this um, crystal grid so it's kind of like facing this way and then we have the supporting energy in the circle you know we always do these grids by awareness through just receiving through spirit you know somebody might come who's been teaching um, themselves about crystals and they might say oh this is not the right position they should be like this and that that is the mind don't go for that you know your heart when you're pure in your in your beingness you will know what to do spirit will tell you everything you just got to be open and you know, like a child they're playing with things just taking different things out from nature they're just picking things randomly this is how we're guided through soul it's like all random it's all purposeful it's all perfect there are no mistakes you know like you do oracle cards they can not be any mistakes so what I wanted to do now is um, like the short activation about what this grid is actually about so you can tune into it. These activations that I'm recording right now are not so highly charged that the one that I actually recorded last week. But I am receiving some guidance how my work with uh, activations will take place further. You know, for It will be connected with the Ascension group that I was mentioning still not yet fully all in place but you know technically you have to kind of bring it about so I'm still receiving guidance but for now this is what I want to do via this video yesterday I already made like this <laughs> pointing its energy outwards towards anybody who would want to receive um, and benefit from this energy like I said it's about awareness you know 
like like I said, this is a twin soul position. Our natural yin yang, perfect state of wholeness within. It's like people want things to be manifested externally without proper awareness first. So what this crystal does here in the middle is we get towards physical creation through awareness. Whatever we do, we bring forth through awareness. This is what this crystal will be about. And I will carry it together with some, some sand and I'll create the sacred space exactly as it is in my home and we'll hold the energy space there. We, we can always be tuned to that. But what I want to say is that it's just nothing can really be birthed in creation without proper awareness. So people who are doing things from the lower realms, they're really not creating from awareness, which is pure beingness. You know, like somebody will, will want to manifest a twin soul relationship, but they don't work from within. They want it to come from somewhere externally. They will manifest the exact opposite that will show them, you know, this is where you're missing the point. You know, go into awareness, go into beingness, go within. <clears throat> so. When we come to a certain stage of awareness, we come to a certain stage of how we create. So, <clears throat> on different levels of awareness, there's different rules <laughs> applying there, how to create. So in the new, this portal we're entering, we gotta, we gotta really embrace the responsibility that comes with conscious awareness. So, like I said, taking ownership, taking responsibility for what we're creating, not just some wishful thinking or doing things randomly without taking proper responsibility for them. So everything that we do, we do through awareness. And let me now come back to the portal that is the equinox. The equinox is always about the perfect balance of the masculine and the feminine, you know, the day and the night, equally long, the moon, the sun, and it was a time of the full moon, so it's all really aligning perfectly. You can feel it, you know, that, that beautiful moment between different, um, you know, when things change in nature. It's like I felt summer and spring and autumn and everything at the same time today. So, um, well, there's some people coming there. There's always people coming maybe. I don't know what's happening. It's just really hard to stay focused because I don't know. People are just drawn to these beautiful spaces. Hmm. But the equinox is always about that stage when we're reminded that nothing is really experienced as it truly is without the full integration of these polarities, you know, the perfect balance, the equilibrium, the harmony within. So I hope those people will go away so we can do the activation in peace because we like to do these things undisturbed. We already have a water running behind, right? It's, it's kind of challenging, but like I said, uh, before it gets too cold outside, I really want to do the videos outside. So this this was created in order for that perfect balance for ev everybody who wants to work on higher levels of energy manifestation. You know, not the wishful thinking type, not the in in new agey or whatever you want to call it. It's like becoming the master of your density, a certain level of, of, of your existence, becoming the master of polarity, becoming the master of self, you know, taking full wholeness from within and then living it and radiating it out also being that pillar for others you know who will see you as a mirror so I want to do just this quick activation about how to really merge from within and let's, let's just see what it comes through this time for this beautiful space <clears throat> and um, in this beautiful portal of the equinox I want you to close your eyes with full awareness and take a deep breath but the first thing that I'm seeing is like a cross North, south, east, west, within, without. And we're right in the center of this cross, just like this master crystal. And all we have to do to always stay in the balance, in harmony, in neutrality, 
just to stay that step in the middle point in that cross. As masters of our own energy, of our own reality, and masters of polarity, we are now going to impact all others in a loving service. while staying in that null zero point zone. We ask that we are fully aligned with the equinox energies, with the perfect balance of the sun and moon, and the inner divine feminine and masculine within us. that conscious intent, we now connect to this crystal grid and the master crystal. Connecting ourselves with all the other master crystals on the planet that hold, hold a very high and potent energy of awareness of the new age of the new earth. Make the intent to birth and create that perfected energy of direct representation of our perfect divine self in the body, and that we are perfectly linked and aligned with all those others who are also tuning into the same energy. I have to go. Divine timing.